G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and this is Big Ambitions, and this fine young gentleman before you is Mr. Saintly, the up-and-coming entrepreneur of the city, uh, soon to be the biggest and most profitable business owner in New York. Um, just got a few little hurdles to jump. We have, uh, here we are at number 20, and uh, there's a steep ramp up, all the way up to number one which is uh, 23 businesses, $6 million a week. Not quite there yet. However, we're trending upwards. Have a look at that. Now, last episode, if you were following along, we got some cleaners in our businesses. Remember, we have the burger shop, the fast food restaurant, and the gift shop as well. Both now have cleaners in every night, and we also set up some deliveries. So every week, burgers and uh, soft drink and paper bags will be delivered to the store and uh, that will keep the stock levels up. So basically, I can be a little bit more hands-off for these businesses and focus on doing what I do best, playing computer games. So I'm going to play, what time is it, 9 o'clock? I'll play for an hour, and that gives me a happiness boost of 25% for 7 hours. And we can just skip that. I don't think we need to watch that happen. There we go. I'll have a quick bite to eat and then out into the world. So, one tip, and I want to say thank you to Sub-Zero, who uh, commented on the last episode, who uh, suggested for a bit more happiness to go take a seat in the park and wait for a little while. And apparently that helps you uh, clear your head and just overall, oh, don't you hit me, overall become a bit more happier. A bit a bit more happier. Yeah, I can speak. Um, <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say anyway. So I believe this is the park. Let's try this theory out. We'll park there. Get out. Let's go have a a seat. Do I have to go in the park? I suppose. Um, let's rest for an hour. Oh no, there's no happiness bonus. It doesn't advise one. I oh, know there certainly was. Persona walked in the park. 30%, there you go. Positive revenue, that always helps as well. All right. So the next objective from Uncle Fred, uh, it says we need to generate a profit of $2,500 in a day. So if you recall, our gift shop has just started stocking expensive gifts. So we'll be selling another uh, form of item with a, I think it had a bit higher profit margin as well. I believe. Actually, how do I tell their cost? Either way, I'll sell them for more than the cheap gifts. I might even bump those up. These are still the lowest market price. What if I just do that? See what happens. Um, that's fine. So I'm happy with a little bit of money. One thing I do want to do is uh, expand the burger joint um, because I've only got the one cashier there at the moment and only one server and one burger grill um, and I would also like to expand the storage in both stores because these deliveries will come every week whether I need them or not at this stage uh, I think you can eventually unlock a smarter way to do it where it will be delivered based on stock level but uh, it certainly isn't doing that right now Oh, careful. Uh, once again, we get a glimpse of this uh, excellent posture as he runs. <laughs> oh, gets me every time. All right, what's going on? What's going on here? You got no gifts on the shelf. Floor's a mess. Oh, that's right. We got some music playing in the stores as well to keep these people from complaining too much. Because they said it was just too damn quiet when they're in here buying their novelty mugs. And frankly, that's just not good enough. So I'll do the cleaner job for them <laughs> and see what happens. So Sub-Zero also mentioned in the comments, thanks again, by the way, that these should restock themselves automatically as long as I've got product on the shelf. Cheap gift, cheap gift. So I do. So i would be interested to see whether the staff member actually needs to do that or whether it should just happen. But it is 2 o'clock, and maybe that's not a busy part of the day, but we'll see. 
got 56 cans of soft drink left. Plenty of expensive uh -huh. gifts. Mm. Oh, here we go. Got the classic uh, 220 rush here. Mm. Oh, okay. Yep, so that just automatically refills. Thank you very much, Sub-Zero, again for the tip. Good to know. I didn't know if it would actually take the staff member away from the counter to do that, but it's just an instant thing, which is nice. So, let's move on. So I'm making a bit of money. I've got two businesses which are mostly self-sufficient. Um, but I just don't have the money at the moment to really expand on that. Why am I running without my car? Mysteries of life. Let's check on the burger joint here. Okay. It's a mess. There are no customers. The walls and floors are so ugly. Oh, that's right. I haven't decorated this place yet. Um, that should probably be one of the uh, next things on my agenda. Oh. Just to stop these people whinging. Mm. But on a big shop like this, I don't think it's quite that cheap. Ah. If I uh, paint the walls yellow, what does that cost me? Seven hundred dollars. That's just for one wall. So it'll cost me two grand basically just for the walls and then that's not including the floors. So uh, I won't do it right away. I don't think it makes sense to. But things are cruising along, which is lovely. What else have we got around me? I should really see about... Um, upgrading that but I don't know what it would cost maybe I can run across the road and find out pretty sure this place stopped the equipment didn't it did it no no I'm looking at the wrong one wouldn't want some dining booths instead of the loose table but they're two grand bin yeah, dresser chair, storage shelves, they're expensive, $1,200. Product sign. Exit sign. Do these do anything for me? Product sign, hanging rectangular. I have no idea what that's going to do for me. But I'm willing to find out. This could be just the boost my burger business needs to really kick off. <sighs> they are not ugly, shut up. So if I place this sign, undefined, zero dollars, burger. Chicken, no, burger, there we go. Hang on. Burger. Yes, look at that. Now they know how much a burger is. Wonderful. Buy more burgers. Good job, everybody. Alright, so at 6 o'clock, I've achieved basically nothing. I'm really just waiting to see how much money is going to generate from this day. Let's see if I can start buying a bit more furniture, maybe even uh, a few more employees. Maybe I should check. Uh, where are we? Contacts. I think it cost me $500 just to recruit another staff member. Is it worth it? I'll wait. I think I'll wait. Actually, I might quickly run down to the shop and buy a, a few more meals. Just to keep me going. Donut days, five fries, just jeans, and slider shack. <laughs> Make your mouth feel at home. Wonderful. So we'll just quickly buy some fresh food. I can't remember if, that, if it spoils, to be quite honest, but we'll find out, I guess. Now 
There we go. What time is it now? Nearly seven. So again, I bought all that um, gym equipment for the house as well, thinking that that would let me work out and increase my happiness, but um, it doesn't seem to be interactable at this stage, so I might give that another go. So I've got a fit ball and a kettlebell. Does nothing. Nothing at all. Let's play a game for an hour. Because why not? Stanley Bergs is nearly out of drinks. Are they open on the weekend? Uh, yes, they are. That's a problem. A problem for tomorrow. I'm going to wake up at the crack of noon. No, I'll wake up a bit earlier. Let's say 6, 7. Because I think I'll need to manually go buy some soft drink. Okay, I made nearly three grand profit, so that should tick off Fred's little objective there for me, which is good. Hey kid, you gotta come see my new villa in Marbella. We'll drink some sangrias together someday. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm glad to see you figured out how to increase your profit. Our sure next have. move is all about cutting out the middleman, the wholesaler. We gotta start importing our products ourselves. Right. Rent a small office and open a headquarters in the new office building. Okay. Before then, it's time for video games. Keep that happiness up. So I'm going to grab my car. I'm going to go buy some drinks. Once, uh, once the delivery start, I shouldn't have to, but I think it's just because this is the first week and I've set them for a Monday. So it's probably been left a little bit too long. Now, where did I get the drinks from? I believe if I head straight here, don't you hit my car, get out of here. I've got right of way because I'm the main character. Yeah, I believe if I come out here and turn left, hey, 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 careful. Can't afford to <laughs> ride off my car again right now. Is this place open? Yes, it is. Let's go. Now, let's have a look here. Plenty of burgers. Yeah, that's fine. So it's just the drinks there. What about this one? Plenty of everything, really. They'll last until the delivery, so it's just the drinks I need. Soft drink, here we are. Grab a couple of boxes. Maybe three, why not? So, after this I need to rent an office and open a headquarters. And that'll let me start importing. That means I should get all my products for a lot cheaper than what I'm currently paying, in theory. And hopefully that will be what lets me uh, manage my deliveries a bit smarter. That should lead to a warehouse, I believe. And then I can control the entire chain from import to sale. Oh, where am I going? Bet I'll be anyone behind me. Careful. God, people in this city are so rude. Alright, let's park there. Grab the trolley and the drinks. And let's just drop these off. Done. So, actually, let's look at the map here. I need an office. There's one right here. 
available for rent. That one's a lot smaller. I was really hoping there'd be one on my street. Just don't keep things all really tight with that lot of trouble between. But let's check this one out. $10 rent. $400 up front. Let's do it. Uh, this is a headquarters where I can employ a purchasing agent, logistics manager, HR manager, and a headhunter. Okay, let's call this Saintly HQ. Done. What now, Fred? Talk to me. Congratulations on your new headquarters. This is where the top employees of your organization will be seated. But first, we have to start hiring. We need a purchasing agent to help us secure some import contracts. Good call. Hire a purchasing agent. Buy a computer, a desk, and a chair. Mr. Scott's office supplies. <laughs> I get that reference. Place the desk in your headquarters and attach the computer and chair to the desk. Assign the purchasing agent to the workstation. Right. One second. Okay. So... Purchasing agent. So is that through, yeah, through, where are we? Recruitment core here? Outside business hours, okay. Um, where's Mr. Scott's? Office supplies, anyone? Let's turn off everything else. Really? All the way over there? Hold on, is it even open? Closes at two. I not convinced I'm going to make that. That will give it a try. Where are we? It's 12 o'clock. We've got two hours to drive 500 meters. Whoa. Watch where you're going, mate. I've got places to be. I'm a businessman. Yeah, we should make this. Where is it? Jeez. Ah, oh, city workforce. I have to go there and get the um, purchasing agent. Park over here, actually. closed for the weekend. That's annoying. That's alright. Let's get in here. We need a computer desk and a chair. Ah, uh, better go try. Crap, that's expensive. Do you have any cheaper chairs? That's much better. It opened in two days after the weekend. Maybe I can just sleep in my car for three days and wait for this all to blow over. Watch it, buddy. Alright, I'm going to head back. I'm going to load up the office. And then try and think of what to do for the weekend while that employment agency is closed. 
Um, where am I? Okay, two streets away. So I feel like this rivalry's update has really made the cities a bit more meaningful. I feel like there's new businesses popping up all over the place and they actually have ownership. So it'll be interesting to see we're not big enough for the rivals to really start coming for me. What implications that has. Because apparently they will head down his staff and they will uh, refuse to rent spaces to you. Basically just be jerks all around. Standard desk. Right there. I wonder if the employees will hate me because that's a cheapo chair. Okay, well that's done. Um, Meadow Park. Alright, I think I'm going to time skip. I'm going to play the weekend, but you don't need to watch that. It's going to be boring as hell, waiting. So I'm just going to put her around for a couple of days, and I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. It's been two in-game days. You'll see that I've spent most of my money with a little upgrade to the burger shop. That's an extra counter, an extra grill, an extra cash register ready for another employee. Today's Monday, so all my deliveries also arrive, so all... The businesses should be well stocked. Let's have a look at that actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just a bit. So that's fine. And what we're doing now is it's Monday morning. This, uh, what is it? The, um, that's not it. The Employment Agency City Workforce opens in just an hour, I think. So I might sleep here for a little hour, just have a little little kip in the car, and the place is open. Help me out, please. I would like a purchasing agent for my HQ. I just need one candidate, and you have one day. Make it happen. Okay, easy as that. One thing I would also like to do is uh, employ someone else at the burger shop. However, I have less than a grand again. Uh, so maybe I won't do that just yet. And technically I think I'll, I might need two people, or at least a full-timer and a part-timer. Because I think I'm going to need more cleaners as well. But we'll just have to see how that looks. So it's 8.45 in the morning on a Monday, and I already have nothing to do. Living the life of luxury as the boss man. Uh, whoop. I overshot it a little bit, that's fine. Hopefully find a park up here near my house. So. Won't hear from this purchasing agent until tomorrow, unfortunately. time I'll just head back into the burger shop which is filthy why is it filthy it's closed on Mondays maybe I should open and work make a bit of money what time is it nine o'clock I could put in a a shift, I think. Okay. Uh, let's go to the biz man. Let's go to 
Saintly Bugs. That'll do it. So I've taken my stuff off Mondays and I'm just going to work from now or from 11 until whatever time I close at 8. I can't remember. Anyway, let's start working. Let's skip that time. At least I will make a few dollars. And the place is a wreck. I've got bugger all energy and I'm very hungry, but I need to just mop this up for tomorrow. Hopefully it was worth it. One thing I'll do before I forget is jump back into St. Bergs, go to the schedule, and turn off Monday. We don't want to work every Monday. It was just a little one-off thing. So hopefully I can run back to the house without passing out, because I'm a very hungry boy. For some reason I didn't grab myself a burger while I was working. This man just go in. There we go. Let's eat some food and go to bed. Okay, it was worth it, definitely. Made three grand that day, which was nice. And play a computer game for an hour and a half, maybe. Oops, did I do that? I can't tell if I did that or cancelled it. I didn't actually. Um, start playing. There we go. Grab a bite to eat. The legal eagle. Kebabs, kebabs. Very good. So, expecting a phone call soon. We couldn't store all the paper boxes in Saintly Gifts. We couldn't store all the gift boxes in Saintly Gifts. We couldn't store all the paper bag boxes in Saintly Bergs. So do I get a refund? <laughs> um, that's okay. Hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah, City Workforce Force should be calling me very shortly. I clear my destinations. I don't want that to be my destination anymore. Maybe once the mission's over. Oh, I'll just do that. Okay. So if they didn't have room to store those items, I wonder where they went. Did I pay for them and lost them? Did I get a refund or are they just on the floor somewhere? I just don't know. But that um, reinforces the idea that I do need to buy more storage shelves, which I might actually do this morning. It would cost me a couple of grand, but I think it's worth it to avoid any more headaches. Oh, I'll break. the counter mate. So we've got these in, it's a bit expensive but price of progress. Go. 
I do need to call the actual employment agency again, don't I? I might do that now. Uh, where are we? I'm looking for a Saintly Berg's customer service person. I want them full time. And I want one candidate. Thank you. God, I wish it was a horn button. It's a bit blasting it constantly. Alright, park here. And we'll get the storage shelf over in the gift shop. Namely, Saintly Gifts. There it is. Beautiful. What a great shop. There we go. That'll hopefully keep the delivery people happy off my case. I'm going to leave a trolley right there in the road, just to spite this guy. Now it's 11.45. Where the hell is my purchasing agent? Stock up on a bit more food. Don't tell me that the employment agency isn't open on a Tuesday. Surely. And I'm pretty sure I put the order in relatively early, so I would have expected a message by now, but maybe it can come throughout the day. I shouldn't lose my shit just yet. Run some food home just to stock up the fridge. There we go. What about? It was eight o'clock yesterday. You had one day. Not bloody good enough. What do I do while I wait? Run around in circles. Play a video. Here we go. City workforce. Late. All candidates have been sent to your My Employees app. Well, thank you. Linda Kale, $27 an hour. 28% skill at purchasing agent. Mm. But. Gotta be done. Let's discuss wages. Uh, I'm going to negotiate because you are shit at your job. I'm going to give you 24 an hour. 31 <laughs> You're having a laugh, mate. All right, let's go back to the 27. All right, fine. 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 That's the, no, that's the art of negotiation. Start at twenty seven ninety five, end up at twenty eight sixty seven. Linda Kale, you are a smooth operator. You son of a, it's fine. It's fine. Who's Ida Bryant? Okay. All right, Linda Kale is on board. My employees, Linda. I wish you were better at your job. Just quietly. So I'm going to unassign you. I'm going to train you. $255 for a day. You got to... You got to invest, right? Well, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm getting a bit sleepy. Okay, still making a bit of profit. That's nice. I'm hungry as all hell. Start off the day with a couple hours of uh, Counter-Strike, probably. Seems the type. Done. All right. So what else do I need in the office? I feel like it's a pretty bland environment, right? 
So what I might do now that I've got a few dollars on my sleeve. Whoa, come on, don't stop the red light, seriously. Let me in. Um, now that I've got a few dollars on my sleeve, what I might do is just run back to the office furniture shop, if I can remember where that was, and uh, look at what else we can buy. Could be something like a, a maybe a cleaning station might be necessary, maybe a coffee machine, uh, something just to keep m morale up, keep people happy. Whoa, watch where you're going, mate. Um, hopefully without spending a million dollars. Was it here? Uh, Joe's Hot Dogs. Where am I? <laughs> I was... I was bloody close. Alright. You give me a hard time, I have no sense of direction, okay? What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? I was so proud of myself for a minute as well. I'm like, wow, I can't believe I made it all the way back here. Without checking the map. How is it illegal? I'm barely on the footpath. Fine. Alright, let's see what else we can pick up here. A plant. Cabinet. A water cooler would be nice. A printer. Coffee machine. Pick four things. Plant. Water cooler. Cabinet. No, 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 no. Cabinet. No, no, no. Cabinet. No, no, no. Can you give me the cabinet? Can you give me the cabinet? Cabinet? You... How am I supposed to buy the cabinet? Park that. No. Can I just not buy a cabinet here? Come on, surely. Anyway, alright, what do I know? Wait, a filing cabinet? Can I put the coffee machine on a filing cabinet, maybe? This is going to be a best office ever. you got a coffee machine, but it's probably going to be on the floor. Time is at 10.30. Just gotta to wait to hear back about my other employee. They should have more roundabouts like that. I think it really helps the flow of traffic. Apparently big roundabouts like or roundabouts in general just aren't necessarily a thing in most of the US, which I find hard to believe. I was watching someone play um, City Skylines and they're like I've discovered this epic traffic hack. If you build a circle out of roads, you don't need to you know, have traffic lights at an intersection. It's amazing. Alright, here is all the stuff. Maybe I'll use this space as well. Water cooler. Small cabinet. Please let me put the coffee machine on that. God. <laughs> okay, even better. I'll put it right on the desk next to the computer. That's what you want, actually. I'd be happy with that, to be quite honest. All right. Is 
So just waiting for the phone call. And uh, Saintly Burgers will be firing on all cylinders. Actually, I really should paint it, shouldn't I? Can I squeeze in here? Yes. He's not getting out. <laughs> oh. The walls are so ugly. Shut your face. All right, interior designer. Cheapest, cheapest wall. Thirty dollars. Yellow. Can I? No, I can't do the whole wall at once, unfortunately. I mean, I could get offensive with it, couldn't I? Let's um. Look at this. Swanky. Floor. Tiles. Red and white. Hello. Beautiful. $4,000. No way. No way. Come on. No way. Alright. Maybe just... Maybe just the wall. For now. Right, that's not too unrealistic. It's a 1500. That's fine for a start. Okay, look at that. Now that is interior design. Boom. Boom. Look at this. It's the happiest place on earth. I have copyright over that phrase, so it's okay. Um, oh, that's a nice deep red. Why wasn't using that? Anyway, I think I've overdone the red. Let's uh, let's keep it minimalistic. There we go. All right, we'll apply that. It's a start. I can't find a place to sit down. Well, mate, there's a chair right there. You go sit next to this fella. You can share your burgers. Never happy. Never happy people. Alright, it's 2.30. Where's my phone call? Oh, and my agent should be nearly done with training as well, which will be nice. Maybe I just need to play some Counter-Strike for an hour and a half. Here we go. Anderson Recruitment. Where are we? All right, my employees, who have we got? Candidates. Florence Schindler. $14, customer service 26%. That is pathetic. Uh, I'll hire you because you're cheap and I don't care. But I will, once again, unassign you and just give you a wee bit of training. That's pathetic. 25 hours left. All right, you train up. Okay, Linda Kale. Finish the training. Oh, we need... We need a new preset for Saintly Corporate. That's a red suit. With shorts. Ugly, ugly shoes. Uh, a cap, a yellow cap. Um, security vest. <laughs> no, no, that's too far. No, I think we just need the whole red suit get up and maybe a visor. Yes, got a green visor so people know they're important. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna do it. Red, yes. Red, beautiful. Red, green visor. Done. Stanley Corpo is ready. So that will be your uniform there, Linda. 64. Now look, just because you've only got a few good years left in you, I won't be mean. 
but by 64, if this is your profession and your skill when you turn up is 28%, and then you negotiate your wage, you got some nerve. You're, I'm paying you $30 an hour now. You have some nerve, Linda. Frankly, I'm appalled. I'm going to give you a $4,000 bonus. No. All right. Same the HQ. Done. Manage schedule. You are full time, so that's good. Monday to Friday will do. Eight to four. Sounds reasonable. Done. Wait, what's full time again? I always forget. Um, ch -ch -ch employees, Linda, full time between 30 and 50, 30 and 50. So, Linda, um, what are you doing? 40. That's just, uh, everything hours cannot be changed for headquarters. What? Really? All right. Guess you're working Saturday then. Really? God, some people have a good. Okay, fine. Monday to Friday it is. Enjoy that. Enjoy that, Linda. You. Ah, Rip off progress. merchant. Your first operational employee working from your brand new headquarters. Starting to sound pretty fancy, huh? Now, we need to get your purchasing agent working. But first, we need a place to store all your imported products. Makes sense. Ah, oh, okay. Here's the warehouse. Rent a warehouse. I shouldn't have spent all my money. Just quietly. Where is a warehouse? So. A little one over here. 1,200. Oh, this one's a bit smaller. That might do. Still relatively close. $76 a day. <clears throat> Let me just see what this one's worth. 164. Tell him he's dreaming. 55. That one's okay. A bit further away. This one's 76. 218. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's cheap out. $55 a day for a little bit of distance, so be it. Can I afford it? Just. Ouch. I hope I'm not hungry because I can't afford food. So I need to employ drivers. I need to employ... Oh, that's probably it for the warehouse, isn't it? A driver to do the deliveries. Okay, whatever. Done. Pallet shelf. That's going to cost me several thousand dollars. That is not happening today. Place the pallet shelf in your warehouse. I will. But first, I need to go to bed so that I can make money overnight and wake up with some <laughs> with some dollars. <laughs> it's not. That's not a huge amount of money, is it? Uh, play some early morning Counter Strike. Here we go. Pwn some noobs. Uh, now, uh, maps. I need to go to. Was it this shop that has the big shelves? They're open now. That's fine. Let's go. That's not my car. Where'd I park? <laughs> oh man, I've done that in real life. Just walked up to a. A car park next to mine that was the same model. And uh, very nearly just awkwardly broke into someone's car. You know, it happens. So let's get in here. At least one pallet shelf. I'm guessing it's going to be at most one. Two and a half thousand dollars, yep. That's a pallet shelf. Full of pallet shelves. And 
inception moment. Alright, let's get this out of here. So the warehouse was one block this way, I believe. Luminous Lounge. I wonder how much of these images are AI generated. Warehouse, 50 meters, here we go. He's gonna run. Look at him lugging that pellet shelf around. No spine. Okay, here we are. I'm in my uh, warehouse. Here's my solitary pellet shelf. Done. Ah, this is excellent. Or we'll use this warehouse to store your products until we can get them into your stores. We'll get back to that later. But now, let's start stocking up these beautiful new shelves. Right you are, Fred. Set up an import partnership with Jet Cargo Imports. Order a batch of at least 1,000 cheap gifts and 600 soda cans through the purchasing agent screen of your headquarters. After receiving the imported goods, verify 1,000 cheap gifts and 600 soda cans are in your warehouse. You have to verify it? What can they rip you off if I don't? Just like real life. Um, okay, interesting. So, set up an import partnership. This might cost money, I might not be able to do this today. Let's go to Saintly HQ. I'm going to talk to my purchasing agent. No contract. Only seated purchasing agents can be accessed. You're not at work, Linda. Are you not at work right now? Um, how do I? How do I? Jet cargo imports. Maybe I need to go to them. Ah, yes, looks like I do. As long as it costs me less than $450 to do, I'm all in. Just, uh, just gonna, just gonna go ahead and squeeze on in there, thank you. Careful, 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 there we go. Alright. The other green, let's go. Oh, that's not good. 68%. <laughs> Better save some money for a tow truck. It's going to cut in there. Thank you. Whoa. Can't park up there. Okay. Going to masterfully reverse park here. Look at this. Jet Cargo Imports, let me in. Lovely setup in here. Let's make a partnership. You can talk to Linda. Oh, easy as that, eh? Okay, bye. Bye bye. So now, Linda, oh, the biz man, set in the HQ, purchasing agents, Linda. What do we want? A thousand cheap gifts. Whoa, that's, that's too many cheap gifts. That's going to cost me three and a half grand. So that's not happening today. <laughs> that's not happening for several days. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought that was... I thought I could drive over that. Poor car. Never stood a chance. Expertly navigated. Just gonna go ahead and pop in there, thank you. There we are. Alright, play a bit more Counter-Strike. That's too much Counter-Strike. I think I'm just going to go to bed. But with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode. Achieved a lot, still a lot to do, but we'll need to um, 
definitely make some more cash before I can progress. Uh, Florence Schindler has finished her training so she can start working at Saintly Burgs and hopefully increase the profit coming in from that business because then we'll be selling twice as many burgers, um, in theory, which will be good. So that'll be the focus. I will play some Counter-Strike for a couple of hours because I'm a very sad man. And uh, we will work on the warehouse. So soon I can cancel those deliveries and handle all the importing and shipping from within my own team, which will be fantastic. And I'll be covering that in the next episode. If you like this and want to see more like this, please consider subscribing. Helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. I also cover indie games, demos, early access, anything like that that uh, looks interesting. So if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I will see you next time. Cheers.